everyone what's up good morning good evening have a blessed day to all of you people of the world wherever you are thank you so much for tuning in to my youtube channel alicia meller and today we will continue to read in the book of exodus chapter 23 you shall not circulate a false report do not put your hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness you shall not follow a crowd to do evil, nor shall you testify in a dispute so as to turn aside after many to pervert justice. You shall not show partiality to a poor man in his dispute. If you meet your enemy's ox or his donkey going astray, you shall surely bring it back to him again. If you see the donkey of one who hates you lying under its burden, and you would refrain from helping it, you shall surely help him with it. You shall not pervert the judgment of your poor in this dispute. Keep yourself far from false matter. Do not kill the innocent and righteous, for I will, will not justify the wicked. And you shall take no bribe, for a bribe blinds the discerning and perverts the words of the righteous. Also, you shall not oppress a stranger. For you know the heart of a stranger, because you were strangers in the land of Egypt. Six years you shall sow your land and gather in its produce, but in the seventh year you shall let it rest and lie in fallow. That the poor of your people may eat, and what they leave, the beasts of the field may eat. In like manner you shall do with your vineyard and your olive grove. Six days shall you do your work, and on the seventh day you shall rest, that your ox and your donkey may rest, and the son of your female servant and the stranger may be refreshed. And in all that I have said to you, be circumspect and make no mention of the name of other gods, nor let it be heard from your mouth. Three times you shall keep a feast to me in the year. You shall keep the feast of unleavened bread. You shall eat unleavened bread seven days, as I commanded you, at the time appointed in the month of Abib, for in it you came out of Egypt. None shall appear before me empty. In the feast of harvest, the first fruits of your labor, which you have sown in the field, in the feast of ingathering at the end of the year, and you have gathered in the fruit of your labors from the field. Three times in the year all your males shall appear before the Lord our, our God. You shall not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leavening bread, nor shall the fat of my sacrifice remain until morning. The first of your first fruits of your land you shall bring into the house of the Lord your God. You shall not boil a young goat, and its mother's milk. Behold, I send an angel before you to keep you in the way and bring you into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey him and obey his voice. Do not provoke him, for he will not pardon your transgressions. For my name is in him. But if you indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversaries. For my angel will go before you and bring you into the Amorites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Canaanites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. You shall not bow down to their gods, nor serve them, nor do according to their works, but you shall utterly overthrow them and completely break down their sacred pillars. So you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. No one shall suffer mis miscarriage or be barren in your land. I will fulfill a number of your days. I will send my fear before you, and I will cause confusion among all the people to whom you come, and I will make all your enemies turn their backs on you. And I will send hornets before you, which shall drive out the Hivite and the Canaanite, 
and the Hittite from before you. I will not drive them out from before you in one year, lest the land become desolate and the beasts of the field become too numerous for you. Little by little I will drive them out from before you until you have increased and you inherit the land. And I will set your bounds from the Red Sea to the sea, Philistia, and from the desert to the river, for I will deliver the inhabitants of the land into your hand, and you shall drive them out before you. You shall make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. They shall not dwell in your land, lest they make you sin against me. For if you serve their gods, it will surely be a snare to you. Okay. Well, we'll end up here. As you can hear the word of God since from the beginning until now, you know, the spreading lies all over the town or the country or in the entire whole world are already there. Same as happening today. So God is warning all those people before the Israelites that do not circulate false report. And God is also telling us today that as a human being, as a creation of God, do not spread, do not circulate false report. So, and only the truth nowadays is only the word of God. We cannot rely anyone's word, but only the word of God. People of the world, remember John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Our salvation comes only from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You should accept him as your Lord and Savior. So that's it. So before I will end up this uh, video i will going to say shout out to everyone that are asking me to shout out them okay miguel up shout out to nell bits fishing channel then max they are really my avid viewers fix and review boss job tuning maxam joms tv classy roma mama jacqueline and those people those channel that i i did not mention now so i will gonna mention all of you little by little have a blessed day to all of you i am your host alicia meller sayings have a blessed day to all of you people <coughs> of the world <coughs>